The Indiana Fever, they're now set to play 36 of 40 regular season games on national television due to drafting Kalen Clark at number one. Now, it's only right that you put that woman on TV every chance you get, especially if you really want to help your ratings because, man, she's got so much clout. She's got so many fans, the supporters, even enough haters to want to see her fail on the next level that are going to watch and tune in to see what she does. So, you know, it's a smart move that they did that for the Indiana Fever. And it's a smart move from the WNBA all around. So um, the only thing I got to say about this, though, is it's about to get pretty nasty over there in Indiana going to the WNBA. Kaylin Clark and, and Aaliyah Boston teaming up. It's going to be cool having them, that dynamic duo on the same team. And if folks, you don't know Aaliyah Boston, she played at uh, South Carolina a couple years ago. I think it was actually last year. Uh, no, two years ago, two years ago. And she won rookie of the year last year in the WNBA. She's a solid player, solid player. Um, can play to three, four, and five if you really wanted to. Um, very diverse, got some nice game on her. And then now you add a shooter like Kaylin Clark, who's going to help spread the floor and just add an extra layer um, to that offense uh, on Indiana Fever. So, you know, it, it's a nice mesh, but... The thing I'm saying here is, you know, this team looks good on paper and stuff, and it's going to be a great duo for the future. But, boy, Kaitlyn Clark is about to get bullied in the WNBA. She's great. I'm not saying she's not going to have any success. We're going to see her all, have all kind of highlights and all of that. But, bro, she is going to get bullied because every great player in the WNBA has been waiting for this moment to play on the big stage in front of millions and millions and millions of viewers. Bro, they are going to try to embarrass her as much as they can. Like, everybody's competitive on that stage. You're, you're playing with the best of the best on that stage in the WNBA. So, um, it's going to get physical. And, and I think that's probably going to be the biggest difference in terms of her adjusting to the WNBA is because we know she can score from the outside. But all that going to the paint stuff, driving past your defender, oh, it's about to get physical. Everybody, Every team you face got somebody that's six six and above. And that's tall for women's basketball. That's tall. So not only is your bigs bigger and quicker and faster and going to be more aggressive when protecting the paint, the point guards and shooting guards is going to play a lot more defense. The talent is a lot more equivalent to, to the level of what we expect Kaylin Clark, to, Kaylin Clark to be playing at. Because you got other guards in there that's about to be in kill mode, bro. Sabrina Ionescu, Kelsey Plum, uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Chelsea Gray, she's an animal too. You got some dogs in the WNBA that's about to really try and give her the business. And how can I forget? Diana Taurasi hates that little girl. <laughs> Diana Taurasi cannot stand Kaylin Clark. Oh my goodness. And it's probably no, no real hatred. Of course, I'm over-exaggerating, but the the during the broadcast... Um, with her and Sue Bird, they were talking and they were like, you know, who would you rather have, uh, Paige Beckers or or Kaylin Clark? Diana Taurasi said, Paige, give me Paige. No hesitation, no explanation needed. I'm like, damn, that was I'm like, that's crazy. No explanation needed. Not even going to give a reason of why you choosing Paige. And I, I looked at it like, hey, it's just all funny game. It's part of the mental game. And, and we know Diana Taurasi's a legend. I'm pretty sure she's uh, she's the logo. She's the logo, I'm pretty sure, of the WNBA. She, she's a legend, bro. So it, it's, go, it's about to be some showdowns going on, man. And all of these games are about to be on national television. So I'm loving this for the WNBA. And, and, you know, they're about to bring a lot of the college crowd over to that league as well. So it's super exciting to me. And although the Indiana Fever may not have a lot of success um, this first year, I'm definitely banking on them to have some sort of success, you know, in the, in the next three years at least. Because you look at a lot of great draft picks and a lot of great players who were drafted um, out of college and then played in that's playing in the WNBA right now. They all, you know, are having somewhat success. Uh, Sabrina Ionescu was the latest name I threw out there. She was great when she was at Oregon. And last year, she was just playing in the NBA or WNBA finals. So I, I say give it a few years. Fever, they had a horrible season last year. <laughs> they ain't make the playoffs. They had the third worst record in the league. So it can't get no worse when you ask somebody like Kayla Clark. <laughs> I'll put it that way. They just need a supporting cast to completely fill that roster and completely fill that team. So, but give them a couple years. Give them like three or four years. And they're going to be straight. Maybe not even that long. 